All right, welcome back. We're still here uh, talking about the China's international Kiss Cup. Well, a lot uh, to uh, go through Austin. Uh, but let's quickly see the list for, for the quarterfinal school, mm -hmm. uh, for the schools that have been to the quarterfinals. 100% for Lagos State. Uh, yeah. we, we must we must say. But also, very nervy, too. They didn't get there easy. So, okay. Uh, you tell us the story. But just reel out uh, the names. Well, the first on the list, definitely, the school that made the, 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 the first to make the quarterfinal. LGA Central Primary School yeah. from Kayama in Kwara State. Baptist Primary School from Adawo Day in Oshun State. Okay, Fako Primary School, Bagada, Lagos State. Okubowo Demonstration Primary School there in Ngeli in Delta State. Emmanuel Anglican Primary School, Adoikiti in Ekiti State. Premier Primary School, Aguleri in Anambra State. Explanta Nursery and Primary School, Ikorodu, Lagos State. State, Newtonga Primary School in Mina, Niger State. Okay. All right. Before we talk about the, the quarterfinal uh, uh, fixtures, those two schools uh, that, that made it from Lagos, yeah. um, talk about the kind of support they've, they've received. Did they get any special attention? Did you notice schools showing them, showing interest in them, or it was just. You know, we, with with kids, you just come out there and whoever is exceptional, you, you, you just you just love the, really love football. them right right away. Yeah. So um, the spectators we have out there, uh, you play good football. They, they say well done. If you don't do so well, uh, they start crying, say sorry. Uh, but you see, uh, some people are just emotional. Oh, the kids from uh, Niger State, we like the way they play. They stay with them. The kids from Katsina, we like the way they're playing. Or those kids that have scored spectacular goals. You know, like we mentioned the boy yeah. from Adekom, Jeremiah Adekombi, because of the kind of goals he scores, uh, he's been getting supporters for his team. A guy came today, he says he's from Ilefe, and I just came to support the boys from Oshun State. Wow. You know? And that's love, right? And he says he's going to come again tomorrow, try and get them small gifts just to motivate them since they are in the quarterfinals. And yeah. we, we love it. A quick one. What about the turnout? You know, a lot of people also ask questions about the turnout. Uh, you know, people should, you know, what do you have to say about that? Your own view. It's the what stadium. The turnout? It's the stadium and it's open. So some persons walk in and like, oh, the competition is going on. Oh, Chinese kids over kids. And the moment that you're just trying to find out what's going on, you yell, Thunder's goal. You know, a kid has caused some fantastic so ideas. The okay, has been let, good. let me see that. It's been very good. It's been very good. Yeah, I mean, because it's grassroots football. And you know, we've been emphasizing the fact that it's not win at all costs. You know, we've been saying that it's not about money. We just want to give these kids a chance to understand that football can be played and combined with edu education and, of course, discover talents for the country. All right, so uh, let, let, let's go ahead with it now. Let, let's take a look at uh, the quarterfinal fixtures uh, for uh, tomorrow. Austin, uh, Central LGEA School, that's what the school from uh, yeah, Quara. Right, uh, we'll right. take on Obuko Oprah School from Delta. That's the first game uh, mm. tomorrow. 9 a.m. Yeah, I get your impressions about this uh, uh, matches uh, as, as we go on. Baptist Primary School from Osho, uh, we'll take on OK Fako, uh, the, the Lagos representative. Uh, also, Ex Planta, another school from Lagos, we'll take on Premier Primary School uh, from Anambra. We have Emmanuel Aglican School, that's a school from Ekiti. We'll take on uh, New Tunga uh, from Niger State. So, it's going to be in this order, right? <laughs> yes, yes, and I can't even say who's going to win. Because this, these eight teams that made it to the quarterfinals, they fought their way there. They played serious football to get here. We didn't even get any school with nine points. No, no. That was how tough it that was. That was how tough it was. No team with nine points. Uh, the boys from um, Kayama, they, they were looking good for it, but Oshun needed because to get they a, needed at least it. a point. And Oshun held on and got that point. Uh, look at that first match between uh, the boys from LGA Central Primary School and Obuko uh, in Delta State. The, the Delta boys, they gradually, game after game, they're getting better. So with this one now, ah. It's a very, very, it's a tough call. The boys from Baptiste, we know their story. Okay, Fako also, right from the Lagos preliminaries, they've been consistent. Let's see, let's see what's going to happen. You know what I mean? We've seen the fixture, just to be safe, let's not say anything. Tomorrow, when we come back, we'll fall. We'll be thrown out and then four will remain. All right, so uh, for those who want to see the games uh, tomorrow, uh, what time is, will everything 9 be? 9 a.m. Teslim Balogun Stadium. 
come out there let's support the kids and support grassroots football development let's encourage them let's be a source of inspiration let's tell them that life can be better if they combine their talents with education so in any way you want to look at it if you come out there tomorrow you're supporting a child okay so now uh, everything begins all the four matches will be played right. uh, tomorrow mm -hmm. no rollovers no no, 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 no. Uh, okay and i assume that uh, the screening will also still continue. Of course, this is the business stage. So we will screen and screen again because we now know that um, anything team that advance can make it to the final. So we want to be sure that everyone is keeping to the rules and regulations. The technical committee, we're taking notes. We're looking at this team. We're looking at this player. Don't forget, we also need to get out the best 11 players and yeah. not necessarily from the finals. Uh, so from here now we are Taking the very, start, vital very starts. vigilant. We're looking at everything. Like that. Right, yesterday you were here. You were talking about inspiration. You were talking about yes. uh, motivating these kids. You were talking about some side of the things, attraction. you, side attractions, things that you intend to do. Um, in, in this part of the world, sometimes we say a big fish showed up. <laughs> and so, can you tell us the story? Uh, I'm very sure the kids were expecting the guy that showed up today. Beautiful, beautiful. And you know, we do this every year. We get ex-internationals, we get coaches to come talk to the kids, be a source of inspiration. You see some of them already doing the Christian Rider celebration. And look at that. Former Super Eagles captain, Joseph Yobo, turned up to inspire the kids, motivate them. You know, that's, it's a long stretch, you know I mean? And you shook hands with I think every... he's the second most capped Player, player for, for the Super for Eagles. The Super Eagles. Uh, Vincent should be number one, but there you go. the guy who's been to three World Cups. Yeah, yeah. Been there, done that with Nigeria One Nations Cup, played, everything. Played in Europe, respected worldwide. Came out there to talk to the kids, ask them who wants to play for the Super Eagles. Even the Ghanaians had their hands up <laughs> <laughs> to play for the Super Eagles. Well, so, you have to switch uh, allegiance to do uh, that. We, we, we love, we, we appreciate Joseph Yobo for what he did today. He was a big source of inspiration to the kids. Took pictures with um, the, the different teams.